And the Nama woman is standing her ground, refusing to muzzle her dog, saying that the laws governing specific breeds are discriminatory. So far, she has a $500 fine to show for her civil disobedience, and she could end up with more. But as CTV's Jet Bassey shows us tonight, she is not backing down. It was a regular walk in the park that cost Janice Grucock $500. I noticed a, a bike coming up Old Victoria. Didn't pay too much attention to it. The RCMP officer on the bike was paying attention to Janice and her pit bull puppy Dominic. He stopped them dead in their tracks and gave her a hefty fine. Gave me a $500 ticket for having a restricted breed without a muzzle. Pit bulls and mixed breeds of pit bulls are a restricted animal within the city of Nanaimo and have to be muzzled if off the owner's property. It's the first time Dominic had a run-in with the law. She continues to walk Dominic without a muzzle. She says she's standing up for her dog. In a polite way, I basically told him to stop it and stop you know, discriminating against the breed. Janice believes muzzling dogs is inhumane and says a muzzle can also put Dominic's safety in jeopardy. What happens if my dog gets attacked? Then what? What are my dog's recourses? Nothing, because he's muzzled and can't defend himself. Pit bulls are seen by many as an aggressive breed. City Hall says past incidents forced Nanaimo to create a bylaw to muzzle dogs like Dominic. So it's been in place for uh, many years and it really dealt with the, um, the idea that pit bulls caused more injury to humans and other animals than other dogs and so it was restricted at that point in time and uh, the bylaw section was created saying they had to be muzzled when out in the public. The pit bull owner says the bylaw is not fair. She wants the city to ticket dogs who have a history of aggression, not because of their breed. Dominic hasn't proven any aggression towards anybody. And if and when that day comes, then okay, I can deal with that. But until then, leave him alone. She's refusing to pay the fine. Poning up the money will be an admission of guilt. I'm not paying something if I feel that it's wrong. I mean, no. If they don't pay it, then it will go to collections and form part of their uh, credit rating. Uh, if they continue to not and we continue to ticket, then we will take them to provincial court and seek conjunctive relief to have them come into abeyance with the bylaw. Janice says she has more fight in her than her pit bull puppy. She'll dispute the ticket and take this dog fight to court. Jet Bassey, CTV News, Nanaimo.